Hey guys, so I hope I'm not the only one whose counters are like magnets for stuff, always getting dumped on and staying disorganized. So this week, I call my good friend Catherine from Do It On A Dime. Hi Catherine. Hey Ellen Tess. It is really bad. I've gotta like show you, I mean. It's okay, everybody totally has this. Who gave me some awesome tips for clearing my counters and keeping them that way. So number one, assess your space. And I love this quote from Catherine. Think of your home as real estate. Piles form when the best storage is reserved for things that you don't use often. This is so me. So right next to that kitchen counter, I have this great buffet space and these drawers filled with just junk because I haven't gone through it really. So it was time for me to number two, empty and purge. And this was a pretty quick process because again, we don't use this stuff. 10 minutes. Woo! Feels so good to vacuum an empty drawer. I'll clean. I did the same thing with the rest of the drawers, except for the one we couldn't open. Not happening. And this process was so addictive, I actually organized the cabinets underneath as well. Making progress. Yeah! Oh! I gotta figure out what's causing this. Number three, create homes, again, based on frequency of use. So a lot of the stuff was on the counter because we used it all the time. So I moved that to the very first drawer. So now it's a functional junk drawer. The kids' artwork is another everyday issue. Oh my goodness. For it, I am thankful for my mom, dog, and puppy. We don't have a puppy. So I filed away all these warranties that I rarely need and created a drawer that I could just pop in the good artwork and then go through it at the end of the school year. It's so much easier and such a better use of that space. Tess's stuff was kind of everywhere. Some of it was in a basket. So I created this awesome drawer. I kind of feel like MacGyver now when I change her. I'm like, need wipes, Psh, they're right there. And then we just continued this process with all the items on the counter. We've got a lot of stuff. Spillover, arts and crafts. If you were a laminator, where would you live? Oh, hang on, Tess has a phone call. This is not mine. This is the one thing that's not mine. Leanne, I have no idea where your charger is. This is amazing. But not everything like had an obvious place. So number four, we created a catch-all basket, especially for projects in flux. So my husband's always saying, what's at mom's is the reason our counters are cluttered. And it's because we have so many products and stuff for episodes I'm currently working on that don't really have a home. So I love this basket and I'm gonna keep it nearby. And then finally, number five, make it pretty. And these are for the things that you do need on your counter. So for example, a hand sanitizer, you can put it in a nice dispenser. Same with tissues, a shadow box for coins, a nice acrylic tray for unread mail, and a big sign that says, do not put anything else on me. <laughs> I'm kidding about that last part, but not really. No, no, no! <sighs> All right, you guys, so that's it. Let me go ahead and show you the before and the nice clear after. This is so satisfying. We'll do some of the junk drawers too. So you guys, I hope this gave you a few ideas. Thank you, Catherine, for being amazing as usual with all your fantastic tips. I will see you guys next week. Bye. I got this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Not even Catherine can save us this time. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Yeah. I blame Dora. She's been hiding in there.